So this question says the function f is defined by f of x is equal to parentheses x plus 3 parentheses x plus 1. The graph of f in the xy plane is a parabola. Which of the following intervals contains the x-coordinate of the vertex of the graph of f? So here's a little trick that we can use. I like the strategy of a uh, plug-in picture here, PIP, because the question does describe an xy plane and says that this function that we have is a parabola. It also brings up the word graph again here where we're looking for the x-coordinate of the vertex of the graph. So I'd rather have a visual representation here. So I'm going to draw my xy plane here and figure out, well, what do I know about this parabola? Well, I know this function. I know that it's f of x equals x plus 3 times x plus 1. Now, how can I use that? Well, I can use that by saying, well, f of x is the same thing as y. And when I'm looking for the x-intercepts of a parabola, or any time I'm looking for x-intercepts in general, that means that I'm looking for the x-values when y is equal to 0. So now, putting those two things together, I'm going to rewrite my function, replacing f of x with 0, right? Because, again, f of x is the same as y. I'm trying to find my x-intercepts, and I can only find them when y is equal to 0. So I'm going to rewrite this as 0 equals x plus 3 times x plus 1. So whenever I have the product of binomials equal to 0, in order to figure out the x values that make the statement true, I separate them and set each one individually equal to 0. So in this case, x plus 3 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. So when I solve for x in each case, I get x is equal to negative 3. So there's one of my x-intercepts, and I get x is equal to negative 1. That is my other x-intercept. So now back to the graph here. That means if I start to label my graph on the x-axis, I have negative 1 and negative 2 and negative 3. And I know that my intercepts are here at negative 3 and here at negative 1. I also know because the function is positive, that my parabola must be facing upward. So my parabola has to do something like this, right? This is not a perfect graph, but it's pretty close to how the actual parabola should look for this function. So my x value for the vertex technically is right here at x equals negative 2, which I believe is where exactly it would be. Um, but the question isn't asking for the exact value. It's just asking for the interval that contains the value. So be very careful of that. All right, so I know that my x interest or my, my x value for the vertex is actually at x equals negative 2. So let's see which one of the answer choices has an interval that contains the value x equals negative 2. So answer choice A says that my interval is x is greater than negative 4 and less than negative 3. Another way to read that is x is between negative 4 and negative 3 which, again, if I were to label, this would be negative 4. And no, x is not between those two values, so a is out. Choice b says x is between negative 3 and positive 1. And yeah, negative 2, right? The, term, the value x equals negative 2 is somewhere between negative 3 and positive 1. So I do like that one. Choice C says that my x value is between positive 1 and positive 3. So that's 1, 2, 3. That takes us over here. That's definitely not true. So that's out. And choice D takes us even further away, saying that x is between 3 and 4. That's also definitely not true. So D is gone. So the best answer to this question is choice B.